Okay, this video is about the human and physical characteristics of geography. We're going to look at the definitions and then some examples. Make sure to take these notes in your Cornell note format. The first piece we're going to look at is looking at the physical characteristics. When we look at the physical characteristics, this is created by nature. This is what a place looks like. It is not a generic idea. This is your Andes Mountains in South America or the rivers or the mountains that are in the rock in Colorado, the Rocky Mountains. This is specifically what we're looking at when we look at this. We're also going to look at the cultural characteristics. When we look at the cultural characteristics, we're looking at the human characteristics. So I want you to change that to human. Okay. So the human characteristics are man-made or invented. That's your key to understanding what the, the characteristics are, is man-made or invented. These are things, activities, languages, the way a place looks or is represented by man. So Portuguese is the official language of Brazil. Um, Cinco de Mayo is a national holiday in Mexico. July 4th is a national holiday in the United States. These are all ways of looking at things. This is another, a really good one that I like to look at um, because it, it really helps understand what the physical and human characteristics are. It's a T-chart. I want you to copy this into your spiral. The physical characteristics are things like mountains, the river basins, mineral resources, water sources, seas, oceans, etc. These are ways that you just need to look at things um, and see the physical characteristics. Then you also have the human characteristics. This could be your cities, your populations, your fishing, your political boundaries, those kinds of things. That's what we're looking at when we look at human characteristics. Looking at this example, is this a human or a physical characteristic? It's physical. Is this a human or a physical characteristic? It's physical. Is this human or physical? This is physical. Is this a human or physical characteristic? This is a physical characteristic because it is all man-made. Is this a physical or a human characteristic? This one's a little bit more difficult to figure out. Um, this is looking at the water and the mountains, which are physical, but then you also have this in the middle, which is the main focal point of this, this picture. This is called the Hoover Dam. Dams are not physical characteristics. They are human. They are people made. So when we talk about dams, when we talk about lakes in Texas, every single lake in Texas is, or not every single, all but one, are all physical or human characteristics because humans have created a dam to stop up the water so that we can have lakes. So this is a, a human characteristic picture that we see right here. Going back to this T-chart, it's really important to understand and know the difference between physical and human characteristics because tomorrow when you come back to class, we're going to be doing a worksheet that helps us to understand and apply our knowledge of what we think physical and human characteristics are. Remember the difference is one is man-made and one is naturally occurring. So make sure to remember that piece of information. Now before we move on, I want you to make sure to go back and watch the video if you need to. Write some notes and then I want you to write a three sentence summary telling me what you've just learned about human and physical characteristics. I want this in your own words. I do not want you to reuse the definition in your sentences. I want you to rewrite it and take care of that in your own words.